What is going on guys, Nonstop here, and already from the beginning of this video from the onset, you're probably wondering what is that on the right side of the screen and how do I make it go away because I don't like things that are different, I don't like change, I don't like change, uh, but you can't make it go away for this video, I'm sorry. Uh, you can let me know how you what you thought of it at the end, if that would be that would be great for me, but I'll I'll remind you at the end of the video to do that. But anyways, uh, the point I wanted to make in this video, like the title kind of suggests, uh, is the Black Ops 2 score streak system, uh, I guess, versus the kill streak system, like in previous Call of Duties. Uh, but you guys are probably wondering, so how can you implement the Black Ops 2 score streak system in a game of Black Ops? Uh, I don't think that's quite. I don't think they're transferable like that, and I think that's kind of wrong. I think they can be pretty transferable since they are pretty similar games. They have similar kill streaks in them. Uh, it seems like they're about the same, like quickness to kill wise, and they all have very similar perks in my opinion. So, I think I could uh, implement like the Black Ops 2 score streak system to see how well I would do uh, in a game of Black Ops if that was the case where it implemented a score streak system and not a kill streak system. So. Anyways, for those of you who are wondering, what is he talking about? What is this Black Ops 2 score streak system, and how does it work? Well, basically, you're rewarded for uh, a bunch of different things now instead of getting a kill in at least objective-based game modes. So now, for instance, uh, in a, a kill in objective-based game modes is only worth 50 points, whereas pretty much you could say in uh, previous Call of Duties, it was worth, uh, if it was a point-based, like a score-based system, 100 points. Uh, like for instance, you could say a blackbird was worth 800 points, so you needed uh, 100 points for each kill, so 8 kills to get uh, a blackbird. But uh, now it's different, it's 50 points, so it's cut in half, so pretty much getting a kill is reduced in half, so that kind of sucks a little bit. Um, it's going to be, be a little bit more difficult to get kills, or to get score streaks, and you're going to come to see that towards the end of the game when I do a little game recap for you of how many kill streaks I would have earned in... Uh, Black Ops 2. But anyways, you also earn points. I think I kind of got off topic there. You also earn points from getting assists. Uh, so I think you earn like from 10 to 40 points or so. So uh, a little bit, a little bit extra from there. And you earn that both in uh, objective-based game modes and game modes like Team Deathmatch as well. Um, also, you earn points from getting captures or attacks or defends on an enemy flag. So you get 150 points for uh, capture and plus 50 for getting attack or defend. So that's added on to the 50 for the kill, so that'd be 100 points total. And finally, you will earn points, like you see right now, uh, from your score streak. So I, right now I have like a counter UAV up, and so I'll earn 10 points for each time an, a, uh, a teammate of mine gets a kill. Since I am helping my teammate, I'm supporting them, and so I should be rewarded for that. So I'll get 10 points for um, each time like a teammate gets a, an, a kill. I think I kind of restated that, but anyways, that happens also for like the Blackbird. I think it's probably gonna be a little bit more, probably about like 10 to 20 points or 15 to 20 points. I just chose 15 for this gameplay since I figured that was I'll, I'd meet it in the middle, I guess you could say. And also, your lethal kill streaks also earn you score as well. But if the Black Ops 2 score streak system was, was being implemented in the game that I, I was playing right now, I would not have gotten an attack dogs at all. And uh, I guess the reason for that was um, I was just mainly focused in this gameplay. You're gonna come to see I was just getting plus 50s all the time. I wasn't getting any uh, bonuses from getting captures or attacking the enemy flag or defending the enemy flag. And I think uh, that was like the main reason I did not get any. Uh, I didn't get as many uh, blackbirds or attack dogs as I did in the Black Ops uh, kill streak system. So I think that kind of uh, really illustrates the point of why I think. Uh, in Black Ops 2, I think you're def you're definitely going to want to have a more uh, balanced playstyle. And what I mean by having a balanced playstyle is uh, by not just mainly focus on on trying to get kills, but on focusing on maybe trying to get uh, attacks and defends when you can, or uh, capturing an enemy like A or C flag when it's open, and then maybe trying to get attacks or defends while you're standing on the flag because that in my opinion is going to be the easiest way to build a lot of score quickly. So let's say for instance you hop onto the enemy A flag and you start capturing it but two enemies from the other team show up and they try to kill you but you end up uh, winning the gunfight and kill both of them. So just in that instance by doing that by capturing the flag and killing those two guys uh, you'll earn yourself 350 points by doing that. So 150 for the capture and 100 points for killing each of the, the enemies because you're, you own the burn bonus 50 from uh, getting the attack bonus or whatever. So 
That's a lot of points. That's very. That's in a very quick period of time. That's in the time of you capturing a flag. And so, uh, let's say, what if some one of you? What if you guys don't believe me now? What if you're saying, oh, I, I don't believe you. I think I still think getting kills is the easiest way to build a very high high kill streak like attack dogs. Well, let's say uh, you only wanted to go for kills to go for an attack dogs kill streak or score streak in Black Ops 2. How many kills would you need to do that? Well, you would need about 25 kills, uh, or a little over 25 kills. 25 kills plus 25 points. Uh, so basically, that is a Moab streak. You would need a Moab streak to earn a attack dogs in Black Ops 2 uh, by only getting kills. Well, maybe you guys are saying, oh, but what about my uh, orbital VSAT or my counter UAV points as well? Well, I would say maybe during that time, those things would earn you probably about four kills in total. Maybe. Maybe if you're lucky. I don't know. Maybe if you have good teammates and they're able to get a lot of kills in the, whatever, 30 to 45 seconds uh, a counter UAV is up or a blackbird is up. So, who knows? So, maybe you could remove like three or four kills from there so that... We'll say it gets you about at 22 kills. So you would need 22 kills to then earn an attack dogs. And that's basically, a, that's still a Moab streak in my opinion. 22 kills is a Moab streak. So you would need to go on a 22 gun streak in a game of Black Ops where, again, you don't have specialists like in Modern Warfare 3. And so I think that's where a lot of people may get the misconception that they think, oh, I could, I could easily go on a 22 gun streak. That's nothing. Well, again, you don't have any... Uh, you won't have every perk in the game, and you have to deal with this new uh, pick 10 system. So that's going to make it a little bit more difficult as well. So you could say, oh, uh, I'll just go for having six perks. That'll make it a lot easier. Well, then you have to give up having, let's say, uh, certain weapon attachments, like having quick draw or uh, sleight of hand, which is going to make it a lot more difficult. So I definitely still think that uh, playing, having a balanced playstyle of playing the objective and getting kills at the same time is going to be the most effective for getting the high kill streaks. Well, then, which will then earn you um, a lot of kills from getting them, or at least I hope I do. I hope it's not like Modern Warfare 3, where the kill streaks are just complete garbage and there's not really any point to using them, uh, unless you're playing against a bunch of really bad players who don't shoot, shoot down anything. But uh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure kill streaks will be kind of like how they are in uh, Black Ops, at least to where they're pretty good and not they're, they're not shot down as easily as they are in uh, Modern Warfare 3. But anyways guys this is the end of the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe learned something about the Black Ops 2 score streak system and maybe how you're gonna end up uh, playing when Black Ops 2 comes out or at least in Domination. But uh, yeah let me know what you thought of the video and maybe if you want to see another one because I do have some other ideas for things I could show you guys or show how the game might play out. But yeah, I do have a little uh, image for you guys of the, like a game recap. Uh, you guys can look at that. But uh, on the Black Ops system, I would finish 109 and 12. And on the Black Ops 2 system, I would have finished like probably about 64 and 12 since I would be missing like 33 dog kills and 12 uh, Blackbird kills. But yeah, let me guys know what you think and if you want to see another one. If it gets enough, I guess, like ratings or whatever, I'll definitely make another one for you guys since it is pretty hard to make. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. And uh, yeah, bye.